Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Fire and welcome back to another episode of Sly Cooper. Yes, on the last episode, um, we collected another key, um, after doing like a shoot em up thing. So yes, um, now hopefully we'll be able to unlock this thing in this episode and then face off against, um, the boss of this area. Whose name I can't currently remember because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Mugshot! There we go. Mugshot. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, how are you lot doing? Um, are you all doing okay? Are you enjoying the series so far? Um, oh, L1. Hang on a minute. No? Alright. You told me to press L1, buddy. Call. Yes, I think that this might be the uh, boss battle. I think. <laughs> what? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and stuff. A douche. And, and this is it? Yeah. You ought to monkey wrench in my operation? Yeah. Some scrawny rat with a stick. Uh, I'm a raccoon, actually. I've seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. You're a cooper? You know that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big words. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my also, stuff, he looks very, very weird. the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, is okay. He's got oh shit. Okay, what the fuck? Yeah, he looks very, very weird. And he's oh shit. That worked alright. As I was saying, he looks very, very weird. His arms are massive. Um. Legs are tiny. Wait. Wait, there are mirrors there. Okay, I think I know where you're going. Right then, here I am. Fighting against a mugshot. Now, I have fought this guy once before. Um, you know, it's a practice run before I started recording things, so please don't hate me for that. But yeah, basically in this boss fight what you got to do is, um, you see those little mirrors there, you just got to knock them facing him. Make sure you get all of them, because some of them are a bit annoying to get. Um, all while dodging his incessant gunfire at you and trying not to get smacked in the face as well. Oh god, because he's got massive arms and stuff. As you can see. But yeah, I've done this one before. Um, and I just could not find the last mirror for the life of me. I looked everywhere for it and whatever. And then eventually I had to consult guys. Which I hardly ever do, by the way. Um, for this game. And yeah, I found it. So yes, this is the last bit. I don't know what it incorporates or whatever. Oh, okay. Jumping! Okay, so you just gotta jump on these things and... Okay. You're gonna be that kind of boss, are you? No, 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 wrong button. Shit. Okay, awesome. The objective is to land on these ones. Hopefully not get shot at. And then turn these things this way around. Or you're uh, stood there. 
Who about what she wants to eat? Just baby, baby kids. Nope, wrong one. This is a fun boss battle. I love it. Very nerve-wracking, guys. In this way. This should be the last one. Yep, there we go. This is impossible. A little bit squeak like you, beating a big, strong brute like me. Also, I love the music. That's right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to hate him. Miss Ruby? You don't want to be you. Mugshot section oh. of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. Huh. Awesome. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old rack. <laughs> That's awesome. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing. He took that canine steroid case off to jail. <laughs> Good job, Carmelita. Gambling Empire, Mesa City citizen soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America. Hmm. And then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was Mugshot finally beat. Um... Yeah, we got seven out of seven keys, zero out of five chests, and zero out of five probably time trial things. But yeah, I will be coming back to these, don't worry, off camera. And I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. Awesome, that looks, wow, amazing. That does not give me any indication as to what the third boss is, in the slightest. But yeah, let's go. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Okay. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. Um. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Ooh. So the next boss is a crocodile slash alligator. Yes, vicious voodoo! Oh wow. <laughs> I love the little sly voodoo doll. That's adorable and kind of creepy, but more adorable. Oh damn. Yeah, here we are in this first lovely, beautiful area. Oh, hello. We have a mozzie, a mosquito. Damn mosquito. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from my shot section of the CVS Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do okay. is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark is So you jump and hit the circle button. Okay. From Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Awesome. <laughs> Cool, we're gonna do go turn it off on this bad bitch. Huh? Oh. We man, kinda disappointed there because then when they said rail walk I thought it was actually gonna be, you know. Oh. Sliding along. Woo! More like this, this is awesome. Whee! Whee! Oh. Hello spider! How are you today? I'm afraid of no spider. <laughs> huh? 
Onto this rail. Yep. Also, I love the um, how different sections have like different enemies. They're not all the same generic kind of um, you know similar looking enemies like robots, but a different colour, or um, dogs, but a slightly different colour depending on the area. That's really really neat. Just little details in games like that. Which are awesome. Let me hit the button. There you go. Hup. Yes, and welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. The um, yeah, I don't know what happened there, but my uh, recording device decided not to cooperate and not record anymore. But yeah, hopefully now we should get some more. All right. Oh God. Yes. Yeah, we should get some more gameplay. Also, in this little tunnel area, there was like a big ass tree thing that just appeared from nowhere. Um, yes. Wait, are I meant to get. Yeah, that thing. One of those that just appeared from nowhere. Okay, buttons. Wow. The buttons just failed me. Okay. Yes, enemies. Here we have some pink mosquitoes! Kind of remind me of uh, Banabras in Monster Hunter. They're slightly less annoying because you can one shot these. I press the so I press the X button. Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes if I die it is literally the controls, because I do press like jump button and sometimes it doesn't want to jump and sometimes I press circle and it doesn't want to, well, circle, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm going to have to be very careful. Maybe hold down the jump button a bit. Just um, holding them. There it is. There's the giant tree thing that I was on the bit earlier. They're very weird. Hup. Yeah, up on here, like we did last time. Don't die. Smack him in the face. I love this game. <laughs> so awesome and so creative in its um, enemy design and just level design and overall just it's awesome I love it hello horse you buddy right then down here now I'm just going to take a minute just to look around I'm sorry for those of you who want more action and stuff it's just you know, Cryo Phoenix told me to just sometimes sit and take a minute to observe the scenery. <coughs> and to sneeze. <coughs> a lot. Oh, is that where I meant to go? I don't know. But yeah, by the look of it, guys and girls, this will be a perfect place to leave it. Um, down there looks very um, ominous and swampy but yeah if you enjoyed this episode please be sure to leave a like comment and if you're new even subscribe that would be absolutely amazing and i would love you even more for it and yeah be sure to check out our cryo phoenix's videos as well on tomb raider the first ever like playthrough of anything he's ever done um and support him with me as well uh yeah until next time have a good one bye